Hey guys, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Uh, just a quick video. I actually don't have a cigar tonight, but um, <laughs> just a quick video to uh, discuss kind of a frustrating experience I've had with an auction house. Uh, the bad business model. And I would encourage everybody to kind of stay away from, from them unless you really want to not win any of the items you're bidding on. The auction house is Mellonville Memorabilia. They're on this site called iCollector.com, I think it's... It's just this auction server, right? And this uh, Scott Clark, I think he's one of the gentlemen, is the name of one of the gentlemen that runs uh, this this company, this auction company. And he's always advertising on Facebook. And this auction house has actually had some decent unopened material come up for sale. However, every single item I've won, quote unquote, I've been the highest bidder on, I have not won because every single item I've ever bid on has a reserve. And this is not just... It's not even high dollar items, right? I bid on, I think it was a, a 1981 Donruss golf pack. I started the bidding and it said reserve not met. A 1981 Donruss golf pack is around 12 to 15 bucks, give or take, somewhere in there. This is not a high dollar item. A reserve is not needed. All a reserve is going to do is prevent people from bidding. And then tonight I bid on a 1972 Opeachy uh, baseball wax pack. Uh, and I was the highest bidder and reserve not met. And I went back and I checked previous auctions and they've tried to sell the same pack many different times. And the reserve just, whatever the reserve is, they also don't tell you what the reserve is, which I understand, but the reserve has not been met and they just keep relisting it, hoping to get what the item, what the reserve is. And so finally I posted on one of his uh, ads on Facebook because he was, he posted in one of the unopened groups. And I just said, to be honest, your auctions are starting to piss me off because every single item I've bid on has a reserve. Uh, you don't need a reserve. It discourages people from bidding. It's bad for business. Uh, this is not something you need to do. Uh, I mean, one of the reasons people like to bid at auctions is because there's a chance you could actually get a deal on an item, right? There's a chance, okay, well, if I play my cards right, if I catch a, a lucky break at auction, I could actually get a nice deal on this pack right, or this, this card or whatever, right? That's part of the allure of auctions is getting a little bit more bang for your buck, getting a bargain. And when you just put a reserve on everything, including very inexpensive stuff, uh, especially they already have an 18% buyer's premium. There'll be sales tax and I'm sure tax because it's being shipped from Canada to here, you know, to the United States. There's all this other stuff, right? But it's just a, just a bad business model. And so I would uh, encourage everybody to kind of keep, unless you really, really want to, you know, they have some rare item that you want to bid on, I would encourage you to stay away because it is not worth the headache. I've been the highest bidder several times and I have yet to receive a single item. So just a public service announcement, I will have a nice mail day tomorrow. A really cool pack. And uh, I've got a holy grail coming up. I've got something very big uh, that is a major item I've been pursuing uh, for my collection, and I'll tell the story about how that uh, came about. That uh, I don't know when, hopefully by the end of the week, that mail day will be here. Um, I'm, I'm hoping by, by the end of the week, because I'm anxious to get this mail day. But uh, so, little teaser, no other information will be given. I'm a vault. But uh, just wanted to chat with you guys. Um, I'll have a mail day video tomorrow. Keep collecting vintage open baseball, everybody, and have a great rest of the weekend.